Hello fellow intellectuals, it's Professor Left here. I've been gone for a while, I'm gonna be gone even longer after this, but there have been people in my comment section who've been telling me to make videos, and this video is for you guys. First of all, thank you for your loyalty, playing with the necklace. Thank you for being here, because I don't deserve you, but I have you. And uh, thank you, thank you for watching this video. But, today we're gonna be talking about individuality. Today we're going to be talking about your year in 2021 and what you need to do no matter who you are. And today we're going to be talking about some deep, deeply rooted things before I, I dip and assess this opportunity well, fulfill and, and go towards this opportunity that I've been given that God's granted me. Today we're going to be talking about individuality. First of all, to all my brothers and sisters out there, get closer to God this year. Please, for all of us, for the entire world, get closer to God. Because this can be our year, and this is going to be our year, but he's going to help us make this our year. He's a supernatural helper that assists you in ways that nobody else or nothing else can. No other fake deity can. And as a result, you need to get closer to God to see you talk to him. Next up, become an individual this year if you aren't already. And you probably aren't. Not insulting you as a person, but insulting the masses as a whole. Most people are not individuals. They think how other people think. They do what other people do. They drink because other people around them are drinking. They party because other people around them are partying. They smoke because other people around them are smoking. They think, uh, they think stupid thoughts because other people around them are thinking them. They aren't individuals and they aren't themselves at all. They're just the collective. They're just one of many. Nothing unique, unique about them. Nothing that will ever be unique about them. They're simply sheep. And I know it sounds incredibly harsh, but that's the majority of people. And I want you to be different from that. So this year, figure out who you are. Separate yourself from the left media. Separate yourself from the right because both of them are going haywire and absolutely, absolutely crazy. And figure out who you are. Stop believing the Snapchat posts you see about this. Stop believing the fake statistics and science you see on some random website. Stop believing what people are saying on Facebook and figure out who you are. Figure out what you really want. And after you become an individual, figure out where your emotions are at. Assess your emotions and become introspective as to what you desire and what you really want in this world. With everything else out of the way, clearing out the desires of everybody else in the world and just having yourself figure out what you as an individual wants for yourself this year without the opinions of others. Who do you want? Is that a relationship you need to go back into? Should you in this relationship right now? Is that person you know you should have talked to years ago and you know you should have gotten back with because God wants you to be with that person years ago still there? Should you go talk to that person again? Or should you stay as far away from them as, as possible? Should you block that person that you've been talking to and you think you're in love with? Figure out who you are this year without the influence of everybody else and go forward into what you desire and what God has planned for you. Because that's the only way to live. Stop being a sheep. Think for yourself. Distance yourself away from all influences and figure out who you are in Christ, who you are in God. Because fake originality, fake uniqueness is disgusting. And it's obviously false. You can spot it and smell it from a mile away. What do you want? Where do you want to go this year? And you might not get there. So be it. Oh well. That's life. But at least know what you want. Without the influence of other people. Why do you want more money this year? You know? Why do you want a female this year? Why are you in such... Why do you have such a great need to be affirmed by a female or by another human being? Or by a male if you're a female at the moment? God's going to bring you the person he has for you. And if not, oh well. Are you going to wait your entire life? For a person to come who might not exist? And then what? Then what? You're just going to be unsatisfied your entire life? Is your happiness dependent on your ability to acquire another human being? Or your ability to attract females or males? If so, you're an animal. You're not even human. You haven't evolved in any way, shape, or form. You're no different from the peacocks. Who develop feathers just so they can attract females. Think about what you want this year and go and get it. I'll be back to talk to you guys sometime soon. But until then, 
Have a wonderful year. Stay close to God and figure out who you are and become yourself. If you need to talk to that person, go and talk to them. If you know you feel something, but people have constantly told you not to and the, the world is against you and the opinions of others have, have crushed your desire to do so, get rid of the world and focus on yourself and what you want. Become an individual. Become yourself. Yes, I have a bald head now, guys. It's not bald, but nah, I cut off my hair. I didn't want it anymore. I just felt like doing it, so I did it. Because I'm me. And until we meet again.